Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to MAT 28. So uh, in the previous section, uh, we learned what an algebraic expression is. Uh, algebraic expression it can contain a variable and between them is addition or subtraction. Okay. It may contain radical also. It may contain uh, absolute value if I want to. So as long as you have a uh, a variable and no different type of uh, algebraic uh, operation then uh, we, we we can call that uh, uh, algebraic expression okay however there's a one uh, example a typical example of uh, algebraic expression is just we want to take a look today uh, we call a polynomial okay so today uh, I'm gonna cover section uh, 10.3 10.4 uh, in the first part uh, of the video lecture today, we uh, we learn what a polynomial is. Okay, so let's put the topic down. Polynomial. So what is uh, polynomial? First, introduction. I already say polynomial is algebraic expression. Okay. However, however, in polynomial, actually, uh, polynomial have it contain only one variable. But in in your level, it may contain more than one variable. So it could be it could be it could be x and y at the same time. Okay. However, polynomial there's no radical or absolute. Okay. And uh, and polynomial it separate by uh, addition and subtraction only. Okay, but it might contain more than one variable. So let's go through um, uh, the definition of a polynomial. You see, definition. Um, uh, polynomial is algebraic expression. Okay, so I may ask you what polynomial on the test. Okay, it's algebraic expression <coughs> whose term, uh, which term? I'm sorry, which terms uh, is which term contain? variable in the form okay uh, in the form ax to the n in my, in my opinion the, the definition is not quite correct it's, it's like 95 98 percent correct only because they say that it's in the form ax to the n only however uh, when I, when I give you the example that study in the textbook it might contain uh, uh, another variable instead of x okay but just this is the the definition official definition uh, uh, in the textbook so uh, just just go ahead and learn it okay and I already said polynomial is the typical example of algebraic expression and all the term in the poly polynomial okay is written in descending power okay so polynomial are written in descending power Okay, let me give you the first example of what polynomial look like. So you can see right away it's nothing but algebraic expression. For example, I have um, 3x squared. This is polynomial. Okay, and you see this is like algebraic expression, right? One term algebraic expression. And because it has only one term, so we call this monomial. monomial and because it has only one term so we don't have to reorder them the highest exponent in this uh, no more uh, no monomial is the second degree so we don't have to reorder anything 
okay or i can give you a polynomial that contain two term we can we call it binomial for example i have like uh, x plus y this is binomial Okay, this is binomial. Alright. Because it contains two terms. Okay. So by mean two. Alright. Uh, and we don't have to reorder anything because the highest degree in each term is the first degree. So you have to uh, write from uh, the, the largest degree to the uh, smallest degree. Okay. Or we we can have a polynomial that contain three terms. Uh, for example, like this x squared plus uh, 4xy uh, plus y square. This is called trinomial. <coughs> okay, <coughs> and you see that the, the degree the degree is x square uh, plus 4xy plus y square is the second degree. Okay, but we, if if they ask you for the degree of each term, you will see that this is the second degree. This is second degree. This is the first degree, but because we have x and y, so you add up the degree. So this is uh, considered as the second degree also. Okay, all right. So that's why I say that, uh, in my opinion, it's n not quite a hundred percent. Uh, correct uh, I mean uh, in terms of the definition here because uh, uh, this this one uh, uh, this is this this one is not considered as polynomial at all uh, in my opinion because uh, uh, in higher level math you know uh, polynomial function contain only uh, one variable uh, there's no two variables so uh, it's still considered this this it is polynomial expression but it's not polynomial because the, the term they use is not quite in my opinion it's not quite correct but I mean we just learn it we just learn it because that's this is in the textbook okay and because uh, the homework it, it, it used that way so I mean make sure you know so as long as you have a, a, a variable x or y it could be it contain more than one variable then we call that a polynomial okay Okay, and it could contain a uh, number only. For example, x plus two, x plus two is the binomial only. So x plus two, the first term is variable, the second term is constant term, variable term constant. We still consider it as a uh, uh, binomial, which is the bi polynomial. Okay. Alright, so all of this is a uh, polynomial. You see that we don't have any radical, we don't have any absolute. So as long as you uh, see there's no absolute, no radical, then uh, contain variable, then we call a polynomial. It's a typical example of algebraic expression. Okay, let me give you another uh, uh, polynomial. Uh, this one, they have uh, the sixth degree. So for example, we have uh, x to the sixth, right, plus x to the fourth, uh, minus x cubed plus one, you see that the the highest degree should go first, or so six degree, then it go it, it goes in the very in a descending power, so six degree, four degree, three degree, and what else? So you see that we miss the fifth degree and we miss the second degree, but that's okay. This is still consider uh, a polynomial. This polynomial has uh, it contain a uh, four terms. Okay, it's four terms. Uh, I think we call that quadruple normal uh, there's no specific name for that so I mean we just uh, we just uh, said it's a polymer polynomial that contain four term okay but this is very um, um, the, the term they use will be monomial binomial and uh, trinomial they use a lot okay in math because it's a very uh, popular term in uh, uh, when we talk about polynomial but the four term the fifth term the sixth term uh, we we do have a specific name for that, but you don't use it. You don't see a lot. But, and whatever we have polynomial that contain ten terms, there's, there's no way you can you can name it, right? Okay, okay. So uh, so that is the, the example of a uh, typical example of a polynomial. Okay. Uh, and I already said a polynomial is written in descending power. I also add one more thing. It is the the degree. Of a polynomial, the degree of polynomial is the greatest degree 
of any term, any term, okay, a polynomial. So this is second degree, this is the first degree, this is the sixth degree polynomial because the highest one, the greatest one is six. This is the second degree only, you see, because the highest one is the second degree, even though this is also second degree, but I mean, we, we're not gonna count like, uh, uh, we're not gonna add all the degree up, we just find the, the highest one, okay? So that is the, it's also the second degree polynomial. Uh, again, uh, 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 each of them is separate by addition. Uh, we are already mentioned this. Each of them we call the term, right? And it because it's separate by addition and subtraction. So this is the second term. This is uh, the third term. This is the fourth term. This is the first term. This is the second term. And this is the third term in a triangle we call coefficient. We already learned uh, about that when the first time I introduced algebraic expression. Okay. Um, so, so that is polynomial, and we can uh, e evaluate the polynomial at a certain x. That could be very easy. You just go ahead and and, and, and plug them in. Okay. So I can give you the, uh, the second example. Uh, evaluate polynomials. It's very easy. This is the same as you evaluate an uh, algebraic expression. Yeah, polynomial. Okay. What if I give you the polynomial like this and I want you to, so I have a polynomial 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. This is trinomial because it contains three terms and I want to evaluate at x equal 1. Okay, so just go ahead and plug them in so you can have 3, 1 square minus 2 times 1. So I plug it in, okay. I plug it in, uh, I replace the x with 1 plus 1. So they turn out to be 3 minus 2 plus 1 give you 2. So this is to see that the way you evaluate polynomial is the same as you evaluate the algebraic expression. Okay. So after you already know what polynomial is, uh, on the second part of the uh, on the second part of the lecture, I want to talk about how you multiply, how to add first. Let's do addition and subtraction. Add the and subtracting polynomial okay <coughs> so the way you add a subtract polynomial is the same as uh, you uh, combine line terms you, you must have uh, you may have similar term okay you may have the same denomination if it's different denomination you cannot add or subtract I believe they already mentioned this also you must have the same denomination if it's different denomination you you cannot uh, um, add or subtract. You might multiply, which is you're gonna learn later. But we cannot add or subtract uh, the term uh, that is uh, has different uh, denomination. For example, um, le let's do a quick recall. What I mean uh, the same denomination? What is a uh, similar term? For example, I have a two x square. Uh, plus 3x squared. This is similar term. We've got the same denomination x squared. So this is give you 5x squared. Okay. And if it's, sim if it's different, for example, I have a 4xy uh, and over here I have uh, 2xz. You see that it's, it's, this, the denomination is different then you cannot add it. Okay. You cannot, I mean, you cannot subtract or add. All right. So uh, adding a subtemporal polynomial is nothing but a combined line term. It's, the, it's like you you combining line term. You see similar term, you add them together. If it is different term, uh, then you cannot add it. Okay. <coughs> All right. Let's go. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Uh, let's take a look at this one. This is kind of the same algebraic expression, you know. Um, how about this? <coughs> okay. Um, example one. What if you have uh, the first polynomial of 4x to the third minus 2x squared uh, plus 2x plus 7? So this is uh, the third degree polynomial however it contains four terms okay a third degree because it's the highest exponent 
this is the highest exponent in this polynomial okay so this is third degree but this is but this is uh, 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 the polynomial that contain four term a four term polynomial okay and I want to add it to 5x squared minus 2x okay so I'm gonna I want to add this two uh, together okay so how I'm gonna add it and let's say the way we add it we combine line terms so this is the third degree we, we don't have any similar term uh, with the third degree so we're gonna just keep for the time being we cannot do anything so this is the second degree you see this is a similar term right so we add them up negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1 negative 1 x squared 2 x 2 x minus 2 x plus minus become minus okay because addition you can just go ahead and throw away the parentheses so become 2 x minus 2 x is gone okay so all you have left is 7 okay so basically uh, that's the way you uh, add uh, polynomial you can uh, set up vertically but you don't have to some uh, in the textbook they in the textbook they show you like this so you just uh, match up you add up like this you set up vertically but I mean that is it's the same meaning you know but we can we can do horizontally easily okay let's say this is cancel out she have 4x to 4 minus x squared plus 7 okay so that's the way you add uh, polynomial uh, for for subtraction polynomial uh, there's a little thing uh, you need to notice Okay, what if I have something like this? I have a uh, uh, 2x to the third plus 8x squared minus 6x minus 2x to the third minus x squared plus 1. Alright, so in, a, in order to do this, uh, because you see that there's a minus and it is minus it's a minus of the whole thing the minus of the whole product the, the parenthesis here it means it's, it's subtract by each term so in order to uh, combine this you have to apply the distributive property first uh, distribute uh, this is line negative one so you you have to rewrite and you you foil them first then you combine so give you negative 2x cubed plus x squared minus 1 okay plus, uh, plus x squared minus 1 then you combine that up so you see 2x cubed and 2x cubed over here this similar term but it's minus so you throw it away okay e x squared plus x squared give you 9x squared Negative 6x, you cannot, uh, you don't have anything to combine, so you just rewrite it. Minus 1, you rewrite it. Okay. 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 So that is the way you add or subtract uh, uh, polynomial. And you see that uh, these two examples I give you polynomial that had only one variable. Let's see if we can do something with two variable or not or more than more than one variable so example number three okay what if i have something like this what if i have 9a square b square plus 6ab uh, minus 3ab square so it's just uh, uh, by uh, this is a trinomial it's trinomial because it contains three term minus a 5b square a plus 2ab minus 3 minus 9b square okay then this is a four term polynomial okay okay and what is the highest degree in this polynomial the highest degree is should be 4 okay? you see that 2 and 2 and 4 you add them up okay this is the highest degree of, uh, this this is the degree of this term 
because there's three terms and this is the high one the highest one because it's two two and four this is one one two this is three so this is the higher this is the second higher and this is the smallest one so that's why the degree of this polynomial the degree of this trinomial is the four degree and the degree of this uh, four term polynomial is the third degree because it's square and one over here because you add them up and give you three okay so this is uh, um, fourth degree polynomial and this is the third degree polynomial okay even though this is the third degree but even though that uh, we, we see that this four term is only three term okay so the number of term and the number of highest degree is different okay all right so how are we gonna add this so this is a subtraction so we have to apply the distribution so uh, let's rewrite it. I think I ran out of ink. So this this pen is not really good. Uh, let's use another one. Um, <coughs> I don't know. I think I have another pen, but I mean somewhere. Uh, let, let's let's use this. Let's, let's use black one. All right. So let's uh, apply a distributive property. Let's for them. So negative. Uh, so this is negative 5b square a so everybody know how to uh, use a distributive property you distribute them distribute it distribute them okay you for them so give you negative 2ab okay uh, plus 3 right okay minus 9b square all right so after you apply distributive property you have to see this is any similar term or not okay a square b square do we have any nope so a square 9 a square b square keep it there because we don't have any stick a b a b a b and b a are the same a b and b a so we don't have any b a but we have a b a so they are the same so 6 minus 2 is 4 a b okay a b square a b square a b square oh we don't have a b square but we do have b b square a it is the same okay and they just switch the order they write b square first so this is the same a b square and b square a the same so negative 3 negative 5 give you negative 8 a b square and you can write uh, a b square or uh, b square a it doesn't matter uh, a negative 9 b square b square and b square anything similar b square b square no nope, that's the only a term that uh, has b square so you have 9 b square plus 3 okay so what you see that after i add a polynomial you have a four term polynomial <laughs> four term polynomial or subtract i have four term uh, uh, polynomial here. and the highest degree is still the highest degree over here is four okay all right okay so that is the way you subtract but you know that has uh, different uh, that has more than one variable uh, several variables so it's in uh, the, the number of variable over here is two because the first variable is a the second variable is b okay now let me give you another example uh, for the case when in front of the parentheses here is a number is a number in front of the parenthesis there is a number then this is what you're gonna do what if i have something like this what if i have a 3x square uh, minus 6xy plus 5y square plus 2 minus 2x square plus 8x minus y square okay in front of parenthesis this is minor actually it's invisible one is minus or so but in front of parenthesis this is two so all you have to do you apply distributive property again but you multiply it by two so let's re or rewrite it the first polynomial so let me distribute so two times negative two is negative negative four x squared okay you can multiply the coefficient uh, so two times eight is 16xy 2 times negative is negative 2y squared 
Okay. So now you're going to see combine. Uh, you can see any similar term so that you can combine like term. So 3x squared for x squared. This is a similar term, right? So you give you negative x squared. Uh, x y is x y. You see that x y x y is similar term. 16 minus 6 is 10 x y. Okay. Y squared and y squared similar term. Then you can combine. So give you 3 y squared. Okay. All right. So uh, you see that that is the way you add and subtract polynomial. Uh, it's nothing but combining like term. But the, the 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 most important thing that you guys must be able to recognize if it's similar term or not. If uh, if you can recognize similar term, then it's very easy. Okay, it's nothing hard. All right. So on the test, I might ask, I, I may give you the polynomial and I ask you the degree. I may ask you uh, the highest degree in the polynomial. Uh, uh, I may ask you how to add or subtract, or I may ask you how to multiply or divide, which is we're gonna do in section 5.10, 5.7, 5.7 in the next video. So I'm gonna stop uh, the lecture uh, for today. Uh, the lecture 10.43 uh, in 2024 today. Okay, and I'll see you next time in the, in the the next lecture. Right. Bye bye.